What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're having an amazing day out there so far. Today, we've got a special priority request coming in from Richard. Richard, thank you so, so much for your generosity. It is appreciated more than we can express. We are going to be checking out Danny Gatton. Now, I have to be honest, I'm not super familiar with Danny Gatton. I have heard the name come up uh, multiple times in my lifetime that he is just an incredibly, incredibly talented guitar player. Um, don't really know what genre. Um, I think he's associated pretty much with the Telecaster, so that would make me think that it was a country thing. I uh, pulled up this video, and it's called uh, Redneck Jazz Explosion. So I have no idea what we're about to get into, but you know me, if there's good guitar playing to be found, you know I'm excited about it. But before we get into it, a few ways you guys can continue to support the channel. You can head on over to Patreon and become a member there. If that doesn't work for you right here on YouTube. You can become a channel member. Both of those are going to get you access to priority requests as well as other perks and features. And then, as always, with a one-time donation through Buy Me A Coffee, you can get a guaranteed request, either Stephen or I will check out, right here on the channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, folks, here we go. It's time for Danny Gatton's Redneck Jazz Explosion. It's a heck of a name, and I got... <laughs> I got high expectations with a name like that, so let's get into it and see what it's all about. to the races like right from the very beginning holy crap um i wasn't expecting him to be playing a les paul i i genuinely thought that that like he was widely known for playing a telecaster this looks uh like very old footage so it could have been before he really maybe leaned into the telecaster thing or maybe he's just playing a les paul on this song but my gosh the guitar sounds amazing it's super bright super punchy um it's not like harsh or in your face though the he golly he's like a bluegrass flat picker playing electric guitar like he's picking so so fast oh my goodness and his hybrid picking is out of this world um oh my goodness yeah no he he really is incredible <laughs> um you, you don't hear people pick that fast very often like obviously you know there's shredders and stuff out there that do a lot of you know um hybrid between alternate picking and legato stuff but he's just picking all that and it's so clean oh my goodness oh boy redneck jazz explosion they didn't undersell it with the name my gosh <laughs> Ooh, all right all right let's keep it going oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, 
okay that one that one caught me off guard i um i love the sound of like the steel guitar that's one thing that i i've never tried to play um don't know that i would be any good at it but man he, he was doing some cool stuff right so like a lot of cool um you know slides and little runs and things but that quick quick little um run that he did there like caught me way off guard i want to hear that again oh my goodness Hey, these guys are beasts. I guess if you're going to wear a super tight shirt with your name printed on it, though, you better be able to play the dang instrument, though. And, man, couldn't they play? Holy freaking crap. I'm going to take it back just a little further. Whew. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> What a cool lick. even tell because his <laughs> his picking is so good i can't even tell if that's delay or if that's him picking which is wild right so clearly he has like a slapback delay to spring reverb you know the normal stuff that you'd have on here but that i, I can't i can't even tell maybe maybe y'all know maybe some people who know him uh is, is playing and stuff better but i mean it, it looked it could go either way for me. Um, it's so clean that I'm like, that's got to be delayed, just repeating. But I don't know, because he's he's insanely good. I love the tone that he's getting out of that guitar. I don't know that I've ever heard a Les Paul sound like that before, which is crazy. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a versatile instrument, but I ain't never heard it do some country rockabilly stuff. This is like a crazy fusion of... I mean, Redneck Jazz Explosion is pretty accurate, I guess. I mean, it's been explosive from the beginning. Um, but, I mean, it's like it's like country, bluegrass, rockabilly, like all these different things just kind of fused into one crazy mashup. But it's super interesting, right? Like, I, it's, it's carried my attention the entire time. Like, I can't stop watching what's going on. It's, there's nothing boring about this. He's... He's an insanely talented guitar player. The guy playing the, the steel guitar was crazy talented as well. My goodness, man. What is this thing on his guitar? I, I don't know what that is. It looks like just some kind of giant contraption. I don't even I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna roll it back a little bit. <laughs> Playing is so nuanced, man.
goodness. Danny Gatton, Buddy Emmons, Scott Taylor, and Steve Wolf. So, obviously, Danny Gatton was playing guitar. Uh, the shirt on the steel player was Buddy Emmons. So, I just don't know which one was the drummer and which one was the bass player out of Scott Taylor and Steve Wolf. They were all nuts. I was listening to that steel guitar solo while I was watching the bass player just motoring back there, man. He was just zooming, man. He had all four fingers going, just got to be worn out. I'm going to run it back and hear the last little uh, guitar part there when they just like randomly uh, broke out into a totally new section and he just went bananas. I just want to hear that again. That was some clean, clean. You almost have to. I mean, yeah, he's playing electric guitar, but that was some like that was just some flat picking stuff, right? Like, oh my goodness! And then he hit him with that crazy descending line that ended with him just tuning his guitar down, which was wild. <laughs> this dude's crazy, man! Holy crap! Oh, huh. all right, I gotta I gotta prepare myself to hear that again. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's go. Look at the bass player's fingers. I still don't know what that contraption was on his guitar. He was clearly messing with it, some kind of effect or something. Um, but, oh my goodness. I uh, I was not prepared. Man, that... Uh, <laughs> I don't leave you scratching your head, man. That was, that was nuts. Redneck Jazz Explosion. I don't know that they could have named the song anything else and really encapsulated what it was that was intense man um i know i didn't talk about the bass player and the drummer a lot but they you know they provided the perfect bed for uh danny gatton and uh what was his name buddy emmons the guy playing the steel just to go ballistic over man that uh god there was a couple times in there where I noticed the bass player and I mean, his hands had to be worn out, man. He was getting it the whole time. Um, he put Danny Gatton put on an absolute clinic. Um, the hybrid picking and alternate picking speed and accuracy, precision, cleanliness of the technique. Um, that is not something that you see on any kind of regular basis for someone to be able to play that fast, that accurate and that clean. And it's not even like he was playing with a ton of like overdrive or distortion. It wasn't, it was a moderately clean sound, which makes it all the more impressive. Um, and some of the other stuff he was doing, there, he, he was clearly a master of like double stop bends, uh, bending into like full blown chords. Um, you know, walking around the bass while keeping, you know, a couple notes, you know, kind of static and droning. And he was walking different bass stuff. There was even one thing that happened super fast and I kind of caught it and laughed. He just kind of walked up, like chromatically walked up the low E string, but he did it with his thumb. He just kind of kept sliding his thumb up, which I thought was super cool. Um, that, you know, obviously that's not difficult, but it looks cool. It sounded good and it just looked cool, which, you know, that's part of the deal. Um, you know, if you don't look cool while you're playing, are you really playing? <laughs> Man, that that really was incredible. I, I I can't say enough good things about that performance right there. Just all all aspects of it were absolutely killer. Uh redneck jazz explosion. You lived up to the name for sure. 
All right, y'all. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so every time we drop new content, you guys can be made aware. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.